What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we are talking about ice augers, specifically DIY sharpening your own blades. This honestly seems like a really weird video to make. I mean, it seems so intuitive, like you have a blade, yeah, you can sharpen it. You can sharpen any blade as long as you have the right, you know, sharpening stone. But it really, I mean, at least from what I've seen, it really seems like within the ice fishing community, there's a huge percentage of people, I would say the majority, that are under the impression that you cannot sharpen your own blades. They think that you're gonna mess up the angle, and it's just not gonna cut right, you're gonna ruin your blade, it's not gonna be worth it. Yeah, so what I have right here is a Mora hand auger. This is a six inch version. I bought this used on Facebook Marketplace for $20 and the blades were absolutely terrible when I received it. I didn't know that ice auger blades had to be that sharp. I was thinking, okay, you know, it's just ice, whatever. I didn't pay any mind to it. But when I first took this thing out, I kid y'all not, it took me over 10 minutes to get through the ice. I wish I had a recording of it that I could you know, speed up, like time lapse and show you guys, but I guess you're just gonna have to believe me that it took me over 10 minutes to get through about six and a half, seven inches of ice. I mean, it was absolutely atrocious. The blades were really dull. I'm gonna put some pictures up of them, uh, but you'll be able to see nicks in the blade. I mean, it was bad. Uh, so I was looking up, you know, how do you sharpen your own blades? You know, is this, you know, what do you do? What kind of sharpener do you need? All this stuff. And I, what I found was a ton of people telling me, well, not specifically me, they were telling other people who asked the same question, but they were telling these people that you just can't do it, it's impossible, you're gonna mess up the angle of the blade, forget it, just go pay somebody to do it, or what most people actually said was buy new blades. Now, new hand auger blades, the cheapest you're gonna find is about 30 bucks, okay? This whetstone that I bought was $15, and you're gonna be able to use this for the rest of your life. I mean, if you think, if you're buying new blades, what, once every two years, every year even for some people that ice fish a ton, that's 30 bucks a year. If you ice fish a ton, if you're an average person, probably 30 bucks every two years. This is $15 once in your life, okay? Or honestly, you probably already have one. Tons of people sharpen their own kitchen knives, but I mean, if you don't have one, you can use this for a lot more than just hand augers. You can use this for pocket knives, kitchen knives, I don't know, farm implements, whatever you need. You know, it's a, it's a whetstone, it's universal. You can use this for blades. After I sharpened my blades, and I am not a professional knife sharpener, I've not really sharpened any knives, I did not own a whetstone before this. So if that tells you anything about the experience level that you need for this, it's pretty low. I'm telling you guys, anyone can do this themselves. Yeah, so after I DIY sharpened my own blades, and I'm gonna put a video up of this, my cutting time through the ice went from 10 minutes to about 30 seconds. That is that thick. To all the people saying you can't sharpen your own auger blades, yes you can. Yeah, and it only took me about 20 minutes to sharpen the blades, probably 10 minutes per blade. It's really easy, anyone can do this. Let's jump into it. Yeah, so as you guys can see, the blades each have two screws on the top side. Uh, now when you're doing this, it's really important that you like take a picture or you remember how the blades are oriented. A lot of times what I've heard what people will do is they'll forget which side goes down. Like for instance, you can see the blade is like beveled at this angle. Well, they'll actually, they'll forget how it was and they'll flip it over when they install it back on and then it won't cut anything. So before you guys do this, you're gonna wanna take a picture. I would just take a picture like this or like this, however you want, but just take a picture so you know which direction things go back. All right, so I'm not sure the exact size of the Allen key that you need to take these off, but I just pulled this from a standard set. I think it cost me $5 at a hardware store and it came with like 10 Allen keys. So yeah, to take these guys off, once you get it in place, it's pretty easy. You just gotta hold the auger still. Be careful not to cut yourself on the blades and then take these off. It can be kind of a pain because the Allen key like hits that and you can't rotate it. But other than that, just taking it off and placing it back, it's really not hard. And once you get these loose, you can honestly just do them by hand. Okay, now something that's kind of important. I don't know how Strike Master augers work, but with the more hand auger that I received, it had these little like anodized steel uh, strips that went under the auger blade, okay? So here's how the blade is installed on the auger. And this little piece, you can kind of see where it came off, but it goes on the back side, like further from the blade. Don't lose these and don't forget this because this is gonna help keep the angle of your blade correct so that it cuts better. 
Okay, so as you guys can see, we got everything disassembled. Here's the blades. Now these are already sharp because I sharpened these like two weeks ago, uh, but I'm just gonna sharpen them a little bit again uh, just to show you guys how it's done. Okay, sorry about the wire in the way, that's to my microphone. But yeah, so with most whetstones you buy, you're gonna have two sides to it. You're gonna have a coarse side and a fine side. The bigger number is the fine side and the smaller number is the coarse side. So in this case, mine's a 400, 1000. Okay, so the first side you're gonna use, if your blades are dull, is the 400 side, that's the coarse side. Now I'm not actually gonna use this side because my blades are not dull. Okay, so basically with your blade, you're gonna have two angles, right? And you can kind of see it when you get close up to it. Your first angle, this one right here, this is not what you're cutting with. This is just like the shape of your blade. You're cutting with this angle right here. So you can see this is what you're not cutting with and this is what you are cutting with. So you really need to sharpen it in two different directions, okay? The only time that you need to mess with this angle, the one that you're not cutting with, is if, you have, is if your blade is like damaged, like you have nicks in your blade, like mine was. Mine had nicks in the blade here, so I actually had to resurface, and you can see the little marks there for me doing it, but I had to like regrade this. I had to bring it more in because mine was actually damaged. If you don't have nicks in your blade and you just need to like sharpen this part, don't mess with this angle. Don't mess with the non-cutting angle. Only mess with this angle, okay? Most people are not gonna need to mess with this angle. I did because mine had nicks, you probably won't. Oh yeah guys, I almost forgot. Um, when you're using your whetstone, make sure you use some sort of oil. It doesn't matter. I know they have like special oils and stuff you can buy that are more expensive, but seriously, just use vegetable oil or canola oil or anything you want that, you know, just use some type of oil to kind of like ease the friction. I use vegetable oil because it's cheap, but I mean, you can really use whatever oil you want. And you really just want like a tiny bit of this guys. You don't want very much. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put a little on there and kind of smear it around. Make sure there's no like dirt or anything on there. Yeah, so that's enough. So what I do is I just kind of hold it like this and then I kind of set it there. And as I'm, in, I'm gonna go from this top corner down to this bottom corner. And what I'm gonna do as I do this is just kind of rotate it like that, right? So yeah, let's just kind of fix them up a little bit. Now when you're doing the fine side guys, you really don't want to push super hard. When you're doing the when you're doing the non-cutting side right here, when you're just resurfacing your blade, you do want to push hard. When you're doing this, do not push hard. And also, you're only going to sharpen with like the beveled side down, okay? Don't sharpen the flat side unless you kind of mess it up and you can see stuff kind of peeling over. Then you do hold it like that and just go like once, but don't sharpen this side. Sharpen with the beveled side down. And yeah, you're just gonna kinda go like that. Go every other five and five, it doesn't matter. It's pretty easy guys, you'll figure it out. So yeah, once you guys are done sharpening your blades, I mean, it'll really only take you like 20 minutes for both of them if they're in bad shape. If they're already kind of sharp and you just want to make them even a little bit better, you probably don't even need to spend that much time. I mean, I sharpened mine about two weeks ago, and then today I just did like maybe 20 strokes on each blade just to get them a little bit better just for the video. So yeah, it really doesn't take very long, guys. You just got to, it's just four screws. Super easy. The whetstone was only $15. You can probably spend a little more than that if you want to get one that's nicer, but $15 one works good for me. I just went on Amazon and looked up whetstone, uh, but you can buy them. You can buy them everywhere. But yeah, there's the blades, guys. I'll put up before and after pictures again. But yeah, guys, I really hope this video helped somebody out. I hope this kind of helped break the stigma that you can't sharpen your own auger blades. You have to pay somebody or worse, you have to buy new blades. But guys, you really don't have to do that. It's super easy. Just invest in a whetstone, which is less expensive than new blades. And yeah, then you can sharpen them every year for the rest of your life. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.